Hello, in this video we are going to solve this interesting exponential problem. We have m power 9 plus m power 6 equals to 36. I encourage you all to watch this video to the end. You're going to learn so much. I'm going to explain step by step on how to solve this kind of exponential problem. Very interesting. Share this to your friends. Encourage everyone to watch the video. Now, this is just an amazing one. Solution. So what do we do at this point? Let's recall the problem m power 9 plus m power 6. I can decide to bring this down here. Minus 36 equals to 0. What do I do next? I can decide to write it as m power 3. Or power 3 plus m power 3. Or power 2 minus 36 equals to what? 0. What identity did I, use, did I just use here? I made use of this identity. If you have a power n or power m, it's equals to a power n times what? m. That means if you multiply 3 by 3, you have 9. 3 times 2, you have 6. And you got your original equation back. Now, what do I do next? Let t equals to m power what? 3. That means you're going to have t power 3 plus t power 2 minus 36 equals to what? 0. So, how do we solve this polynomial equation? Now, we can make use of this particular trick. Let's test for the value of t that will satisfy this equation. I'm going to start with when t equals to 1. So, if t equals to 1, that means we're going to have 1 power 3 plus 1 power 2 minus 36. And this is not equals to 0. We have t equals to 2. We have 2 power 3 plus 2 power 2 minus 36. This is not equals to 0. We have t equals to 3. We're going to have 3 power what? 3 plus 3 power 2 minus 36. This is 27 plus 9 and this is equals to what? 27 plus 9 is 36. 36 minus 36. You have 0. So this actually satisfies this equation. That means t equals to 3 is one of the real solutions of this particular equation this one here so what do we do we need to find the other solution so what do we do you can simply divide t power 3 plus t power 2 minus 36 divided by this is a solution so we can change it to a factor that means let me write something here if t equals to 3 that means t minus 3 equals to what zero this becomes a factor so that means we divide by t minus 3 have you seen that? So if we divide this by this, you're going to have the other factors. Alright? So we need to divide this. How are we going to do that? Now let's make use of this simple synthetic method. Now, in order to make use of the synthetic method, we're going to have... Let's change this to a solution. That means changing it to a solution simply means we have t equals to what? 3. We have 3 here. Now let's write the coefficients of this particular expression here we have. The coefficient of this one is 1, so we're going to have 1. The coefficient here is 1. We have 1 again. There's no t power 1. This t power 3, t power 2, there's no t power 1, so you're going to have 0. And there's negative what? 36. We bring down this 1 here. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 0 plus 12 is 12. This is 12. 3 times 12 is 36. Negative 36 plus 36 is what? 0. So, let me make a space here. We are having these coefficients. 1, 4, 12, 0. That means we're going to have t power 2 plus, instead of this, we're going to have 4t. We're going to have plus 12. This is the other factor. That means we have two factors now. We have t minus 3 which is the first one, this one here, the one we got from this particular solution. And we have t power 2 plus 40 plus 12, and this is equal to what? 0. If we solve these two different expressions, this one here, t minus 3 and t power 2, if we solve these two ones here, that means we're going to solve, we're going to have the solutions. If we solve these two equations, we're going to have the solutions because it's not an equation. 
So let's go ahead and do that. T minus 3, T power 2, plus 4, T plus 12 is equals to what? 0. Now, that means if we solve this equation, we don't have the solution that we need. T minus 3 equals to 0 or T power 2 plus 4 T plus 12 equals to 0. Let's start with the first one. That means T equals to 3. This has already been established. This is one of the solutions. Now, we need to know, since we are looking for real solutions, we need to know if this will give us a real solution or not. Discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. From here, our b is 4, so we have 4 squared minus 4 into 1 times what? 12, that is c. Let me make a space here. So we have discriminant equals to 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 2, that is 48. Alright? Discriminant is equal to what? 16 minus 48 is negative 32. And this is less than 0. So this definitely will give us a complex solution. Complex solution. Complex solutions. So we are not looking for some complex solutions. We are not going to make use of this. So the only real solution we have is that that means t minus 3 equals to 0. That means t equals to what? 3. This is the only real solution. Now let's go ahead and check. Recall we had m power 9 plus m power 6 is equals to 36. Right? Now t equals to 3. That means, and recall we had m power 3 to be equals to what? t. That means m power 3 is equals to what? 3. That means how do we find m here that means we can decide to raise m power 3 or to the power of 1 over 3 and here we have 3 to the power of what 1 over 3 this will cancel this we have m equals to what 3 power 1 over 3 that means this is equal to what the cube root of what 3 this is the only real solution for m m equals to the cube root of 3 now we are going to use this value of m to test this particular equation e it's going to satisfy this equation. So here if we have m, we will insert 3 power 1 over 3. We have 3 power 1 over 3. All 3 power of what? 9 plus 3 power 1 over 3. This 1 over 3. Sorry, this is 3 power 1 over 3. Let me write it well. 3 power 1 over 3. Right? All 3 power of 6. This should be equal to 36. If you multiply this out, right, 1 over 3 times 3, you're going to have 3. So 3 power 3 plus, this will give you 3 power 2. 3 power 3 is 27. 27 plus 9, that means this has actually satisfied this equation. So simply, this is the only real solution we have. That means m equals to the cube root of 3, this one m equals to the cube root of 3. This is cube root of 3 or 3 power 1 over 3. So that's it for the video. Thank you and goodbye. My name still remains Christian. Share the video to your friends. I love you all.